above the city, on a tall column, stood the statue of the Happy Prince. He was gilded all over with thin leaves of fine gold. For eyes, he had two bright sapphires, and a large red ruby glowed on his hood hilt. One night, a little swallow flew over the city. He alighted just between the feet of the happy prince. Who are you? he said. I am the happy prince. Why are you weeping then? asked the swallow. Far away in a little street, there is a poor house. One of the windows is open, and through it I can see a woman seated at a table. In a bed in the corner of the room, a little boy is lying ill. He has a fever and is asking for oranges. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, will you not bring her the ruby out of my sword hilt? My feet are fastened to this pedestal and I cannot move. So the swallow picked out the great ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town. Fly over my city, little swallow, and tell me what you see there. I'm covered with fine gold, said the prince. You must take it off, leaf by leaf, and give it to my poor. I'm glad that you are going to Egypt at last, little swallow, said the prince. You have stayed too long here, but you must kiss me on the lips, for I love you. It is not to Egypt that I'm going, said the swallow. I'm going to the house of death. And he kissed the happy prince on the lips and fell down dead at his feet. At that moment, a curious crack sounded inside the statue, as if something had broken. The fact is that the leaden heart had snapped right in two.